I'm joined by Niels Randelius, a number one Swedish player who's just qualified for round five of the World Cup after defeating Spaniard Jaime Santos Latassa. Niels, I suppose you're, I expect you're happy with this qualification. Tell us about the two games in the match and how you approach this second game after winning yesterday the first game against uh, Jaime. Okay, so to begin with yesterday, uh, he played uh, an unusual opening line which I uh, luckily knew, which doesn't happen so often, but I knew it quite well and I got a very pleasant position. And uh, what was also very important in the World Cup that I had absolutely no risk. Like, I'm a bit better, I don't know exactly how much, but I'm, I can press for a long, long time and uh, there's absolutely no risk. So I played for a hundred moves and eventually uh, managed to win. So that was very nice. And for today, Actually, to be honest, uh, what I thought was the most important was simply to play as if it was any other uh, game. Just because if I start to play, like, let's say, too passively, which is definitely not in my style, like I'm quite an active and aggressive mm -hmm. player. If I start to try to play sudden, uh, very solid, suddenly I don't think it will work out. So generally my plan was just to, to treat it as a completely normal game. So what you're saying is if you try to play in a different way, it could backfire then? Yeah, it could definitely backfire, like even, I mean, some players have it natural in their style to play very solid and, uh, and try to, to equalize, but I'm always going for a full fight and uh, I definitely intended to do so today as well. But in yesterday's game, playing with uh, Black, it seemed more or less logical that uh, Jaime would play something uh, relatively solid because the draw is a good option. Or do you think he should have gone for the three result situation? It's very hard to say. I think he should uh, also probably treat it as, as a normal game. I mean, uh, perhaps he got uh, a little bit too uh, too passive, yeah. I mean, uh, but this could also not... Uh, I mean, it, maybe it wasn't an intentional strategy. Maybe, I mean, maybe he just ended up passively. Yeah. I think that's basically what happened. Who are you playing against in the next round? Do you have a, an opponent or are you still pending the results here? Uh, I, to be honest, I haven't uh, checked at oh, all. <laughs> I have no idea who you're playing in the next round, not even the two players who could possibly your, be your opponents. No, I mean, for me, it's uh, enough with one, <laughs> one match at a time. Eh? I, I suspect you're one of the few who don't look ahead, even though they have to concentrate on the game they're playing. Yeah, probably, but uh, I mean, uh, I think it simply makes more sense. Like, why should you try to speculate for the future? Like, if you can keep uh, uh, keep actually in the moment. And uh, I think in general, especially in the World Cup, this is actually one of the most important uh, things uh, to always like stay in the moment and not be uh, you know thinking back and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, because, for instance, today I had a, I think completely fine position, absolutely no problems, and suddenly I missed one one of his IDs. And it was a little bit unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And what I usually do in such situation is I'm telling myself, how could I make some of this stupid decision? Why, uh, why did I allow this? Now I have to suffer and so on. But actually today I managed to think about this maybe for you know, five seconds and then just kept playing the position. And especially in World Cup, I think this is absolutely the key uh, to a success. Changing the subject and my last question. How are you enjoying the experience here in Baku? Were you here before in 2016 or 2015? the conditions to your to your liking, the hotel, the food. What can you say about the organization of the event? Uh, I was here in 16 in, for the Olympiad. Actually, I stayed in the very same hotel, so I have some experience. Uh, that last time I got uh, a bit of food poisoning, but uh, this time I managed to avoid it. And yeah, the organization is great. The playing hall is excellent. Playing conditions are excellent. It's very nice that we are also playing at the hotel, so we don't have to travel. Uh, but for instance, you know, like, uh, when you are at the same place and the same buffet for a long time, it gets a bit repetitive, it gets a bit boring. I think we are all uh, struggling a little bit with this. Uh, but that's why I'm very happy to have a rest day tomorrow, no tie break, because I will be able to explore the city a bit and get the change of scenery. So good luck in the next rounds. Thank you very much.